Welcome back to the channel guys and today we are here in the remote wilderness of the Lost Cause Ranch's front yard. We are here with our brand new rooftop tent from Rough Country. Yes, we are hopping on that bandwagon. We're gonna do a little rover landing. We got our 95 long wheelbase, one of those little special soft dashes holding that new Rough Country tent. And today we're gonna give you a little peeksy at that tent. So what led us to the more expensive rooftop tent versus a typical cheaper ground tent. I don't like dealing with tent poles staking into ground. I don't want to sleep on a lumpy, dirty surface. I'm kind of a sally when it comes to getting dirty if you haven't noticed. So I would much rather prefer to be six feet off the ground. Better view. But no, this thing is easier to deploy than a ground tent. Nothing to deal with. It just collapses back on itself and there's a nice little cover and you can keep it on top of your car. Be cool. Everyone will think you're fancy and a big overlander, outdoorsy guy. But I'm just a poser. No, I'm going to use this thing for some light camping. Not a huge, huge camper, but maybe in the future. But it is going to be nice at some of the ultra trail races that I do. We'll have a nice little like home base set up. The crew can hang out here throughout the day. Some of these races, the longest one I've done has been like 22 hours. But that's neither here nor there. That's just the reason I got one. There is many reasons you may want one. So let's take a little closer peeksy at this rough country tent. This guy is a fairly sizable tent. The bed size is 62 inches wide by 92 inches long, which is essentially a queen size mattress. So you could honestly sleep three people in this without much problem. The overall size of this guy when it is open is 95 inches long and 64 inches wide and it is 48 inches tall so you do have to accommodate for that if you got a lifted vehicle. This one's just a stock height Range Rover right now. But if you have a lifted vehicle, by the time you put it on the rack and everything, you are going to be nearing five feet tall above there. The base of this guy is a honeycomb aluminum composite piece, two layers of aluminum. Feels pretty sturdy, but it keeps the weight down. And the weight is about 120 pounds, they say. And it has got two mounting rails that you bolt on to the side that you're not flipping. And I took a video of everything included with this before I assembled it. And it is pretty expansive. Got yourself a crock box, boot bag. Comes with the fly rods so you can tension that rain fly that it comes with. And it also has an LED light inside, which is kind of a nice feature. But I wanted to give you what all comes with the tent when you unfold it this is all stuffed inside we got the ladder the little crossbars that mount on the bottom of the tent all the various hardware a phone ringing these are the little clamps that go around your roof rail bags that hold everything instructions fly rods for the tent here is the exterior cover of the tent this is a little LED light that's inside and the various charging parts for that light and some little bungee cords. As we make our way in here, we got this like handy little, like I said, crock box. Right on the side, ladder, bag. You can keep your inside of the house fresh. But this guy is a 600D ripstop fabric. Feels pretty solid to me, but I'm not a fabric expert. The Rainfly, they say is a 420D ripstop. Also feels nice, but it is lighter than that. We're gonna stick our other crock in there. 
let's get on inside and see what this is all about. It is dark in here. So we're gonna hook up this fancy little LED light they have. It has several different power options. I'm just using power pack and it's got a little bag for that power pack. But here we are in our home away from home. This guy is nice and airy inside with two mesh windows and a door on this side and a door on this side as well. And we do have one skylight, which is a little more usable if the rain fly is not on, but it is mesh and a solid door. Each of the four openings in the tent have both a mesh screen and a solid cover that operate by zippers. And they got a nice little feel to them. Seem to work well and are all stowable when you roll them up with these little retainers, which keeps the tent nice and tidy. Another way to keep the tent nice and tidy is the abundance of storage bags which I found nice. We got one by the light, which works well for the power pack. And then we have an additional two under each window, which is perfect to put like your cell phone or some snacks in. And it is currently like 95 degrees out and being up in the air, catching a little breeze, this thing with all the windows open and just the mesh screen in, is actually pretty comfortable. I'm quite surprised with that. I thought we'd be baking out in this thing with the heat, but I think this will be a reasonable option to sleep in. And we'll get one of them good night's sleep before the races without having to jack around with tent poles and ground stakes. Plus this is just cooler. I mean, I feel fancy having a rooftop tent. I'm one of those cool adventurous people now. So for setting up the tent, it is all pretty easy. We'll show you how it flips out here. And then I'll show you my trick to doing the fly rods. All right, and being I'm short, and this thing's like six feet off the ground, the way I do the fly rods is from the inside of the tent out. So each of the openings has two fly rods. So I just unzip it, and then we just go awkwardly and take that guy out. Pull them out of the hole. Pull them out of the hole. And there you have it. And the installation is the exact opposite of that. So I have found that is much easier than trying to wrestle that from the ground. And those fly rods come with their own little storage bag. And you can slide them right in there and just leave them in the tent as you fold it up. And everything with this guy comes with their own little canvas storage bags. There's some wrenches in case you need to undo it off the roof rack. Here is some of the extra power cords. And then we have our little tensioning straps. And those guys are used when you go to stow the tent away. You don't actually like sleep with these, that would be awkward. But they suck the sides of the tent in, so when it folds up, everything is tidy. <laughs> and to demonstrate the vast size of this rough country tent, I have my better half right there, and she's gonna get in here, and you'll see that we don't even have to touch each other when we sleep at night. See, look at all that room. We can keep one foot apart, and I'm still not touching the edge of the tent. Social distancing. <laughs> but no, this guy is pretty roomy. As you can see, we both can sit up in the tent. Plenty of headroom. We can stargaze if the rain flies not on. But overall, I think this little rough country tent is going to be an awesome little thing to have. And Maybe we'll have some adventures you'll get to see in the near future with Jamie and I. So now we can show you how this thing stows away. We have 
all the rain flies and everything tied up, took the fly rods out, and then each of them have these little fasteners, I guess you'd call them, and zip those on. And now we can just flip the guy closed. Now we just tuck the rest of it in and then Velcro strap everything tight and the heavy duty cover goes on and she's good for your next road trip. All four corners have their own little Velcro strap to keep the tent closed while traveling. So you zip those up and then we can slide the cover on. So here is what they call their durable cover. And it does go on one way because it's got a bump for the ladder. So I just make sure I put it bug side forward every time. This is a little awkward sometimes. But it's like doing a fitted sheet on a mattress, which is terrible. So there we have it all stowed away for transport. A little Rough Country logo. And this is a nice, thick, kind of like rubberized coated vinyl, I'm assuming. But it seems pretty durable. Make sure you undo those when you're trying to put the tent on. Don't ask me how I learned that the first time I did it. One more nice thing about the folding rooftop tents is you can leave your blankets, sleeping bags, pillows in there. There is enough room when you fold it shut to accommodate for that. You just got to make sure you're able to strap it and you're good to go. So there is a quick little overview of the new to market rough country rooftop tent. And uh, we'll be putting it through the paces here in the next couple months. And after we get some more nights slept in it, I'll give you an update on my true feelings of how this thing is, whether it's comfortable, whether it holds up, whether it's worth it or not. Overall, I think this rough country tent is a good budget option. This is perfect for someone who's not going to use it every weekend. It doesn't have as many bells and whistles as some of the $3,000 ones, but it is currently, as of this video, $1199.95, which to me seems worth it. But like I said, we'll keep you updated on the quality of this thing. And it also has a zipper down below which I'm guessing they will have a future option for an awning, and we'll probably grab that when that is out. And one more note I forgot to put in there. There is an optional ladder extension for something that is lifted too tall for the stock ladder. I have that coming when we throw this on one of the lifted LR3s. It's probably not gonna reach the ground because of that little bump up, they're tall. But as always, appreciate you guys watching tonight. And if you want to see more Range Rover stuff, some more adventures, Ted, Jamie, I, Tom, we'll all be along for some of the rides. Subscribe down below. And if this was at all helpful for you, give us a like, thumbs up. It's free to you. Helps us out tremendously getting this in front of other people who may be interested in a rough country rooftop tent. And let us know what you would do with that rough country rooftop tent. I got it from our local Jeep shop, Complete Off-Road. And I'll throw a link to them down below. If you want some good service from some great people, those are the go-to guys. Doesn't it feel just that much more special having the rooftop tent on a 95 long wheelbase? This one's going to get a lift pretty soon. Maybe we'll go places. I feel adventurous now with that us and the Land Rover. We're going to go places. Really, Sasha? <laughs> <laughs>